Hey everyone, Till Collect Jurassic here with another Jurassic World Dino Trackers new toy unboxing. Dino Trackers, of course, is that new Mattel Jurassic World line. It's supposed to hit 2023, but already hitting uh, Amazon. This one, this one came from Amazon today, actually. Um, and if you've been watching my channel, you can see uh, the Eocarteria and the Cenotyrannus unboxing. And I've got even more after this one right here. But today we're looking at the Wild Roar Diablo Ceratops. Uh, yet another um, new Ceratopsian from Mattel. They've given us a lot. Of course, they've given us more Triceratops than I can count, but we have Cosmoceratops, Zuni, Zuni Ceratops, uh, Nasudoceratops, Pentaceratops. We have so many. I am going to do a few comparisons later in the review. Um, but yeah, I mean, they just keep coming up with um, new species to cover for the toy. And this one's got a really cool uh, coloration. Um, and of course, we'll take a look at all that once we get it out of the box. But the box itself is this new Dino Trackers theming. Obviously, we got blue and beta here, as well as this Jurassic World logo that has like an ever so slight color wash on it. So not quite the classic Jurassic world logo that we have had the past few years not the dominion logo either a little different you have the dino trackers logo here too more branding on either side i love this little um view of the rocks and everything um it's kind of cool because if you get all these different boxes together uh since they all have different themes on them um you can see here that the boxes let me see if i have one more um, all the boxes have a different uh, environment on them, which is really, really cool. I, I really like that. Um, so uh, speaking of environment, uh, they do have all have little icons on the packaging, too. Looks like a dial of a ceratops here is from the desert with the little cactus here. Um, and, of course, the background behind it also has that desert background, too. But flipping around the package, we can see, again, more of that branding, little iconography there. Levels of aggression, meaning the different play features you can do for um, Diablo Ceratops here. Advertisement for the scan tag. We also can see the other dinosaurs in this wave. You have, uh, I think his name's, what's his name? His name's Dryptosaurus, uh, the jungle, uh, Eocarteria with the mountains, and then uh, Chronoceratops, or Chronosaurus. Uh, with the uh, ocean so they have that theming carrying carrying through everything including different versions of the packaging which is pretty cool so let's go ahead and break Diablo Ceratops out of here a couple little snips we'll get the base figure out if you look for a second you'll be able to see the desert behind Diablo Ceratops there it's a little desert scene and then also we got to get the um we have to get the tail out that's back in deep in the packaging as always so we'll just go ahead and make a cut and then rip the rest out hopefully without not making too big of a mess here seems like i always make one though well they got this plastic thing taped down too which doesn't really help um i think i got it though yep oh i had to pull the whole thing out now there's the tail so yeah, there's the background, the desert. The tail actually has some tail paint on it. Look at that little dark color down there. So, and then we're just gonna pop it on. Looks like it actually goes on this way. And there is our uh, Diabloceratops, um, all constructed. You can see it's got this really deep red color throughout almost its entire body, but it has this light color on the front legs and sort of uh, on the back that goes down to the tail and under the chin. So you get that dark color kind of going throughout the figure, it looks really nice. Um, then on the head, we have some horns painted really dark. We have the the beak painted two colors, which is interesting. Uh, looks like it's they didn't paint the bottom beak, it's just red and the top has that darker color on it. So, um, and they painted this darker color or this lighter color on the chin. So they just didn't paint the dark, the bottom beak, but still looks fine, looks natural since they didn't paint it the color of the the jaw i guess um but yeah and it's got these darker coloring on the crest you can see a darker wash there dark wash or uh, kind of a dark patterning around the eye the little yellow eye so really cool paint details all throughout um yeah. Ooh, and then we got the action feature but let's go ahead and do this the sculpt uh overview really quick because it does have um some really nice sculpt details with these wrinkles around the, lay, the front legs, and there's even wrinkles around the back here. The little wrinkles balling up over there. And then we also have 
wrinkles on this side and then there's some folds on the leg and the tail so really really cool stuff they bake into the mold here no no complaints there from the mold um and i do like the dark red it's a little plain little little um unexciting i would have liked to see some of this darker uh, darker color kind of modeled back here maybe they did paint the tail they gave us a little tip of paint on the tail which is kind of funny but uh, not painted n nails right uh, on the legs they're just the, the plastic probably could have painted this horn and this beak but um you know besides those little shortcuts it's a really nice looking figure um with what they have for it but yeah concerning action features we have this little um I would call it like a switch almost on the back that goes left to right. And then as I noted on the packaging, there's like levels of aggression. So you can do it just a little bit. No, no. So he kind of does a, and he kind of lifts his head up when he does it too. So you can do it a little bit or you can do it a lot of it. So he doesn't just twist his head, he actually lifts it up too. I continue to think that this action feature is a little bit harder to use compared to the, the figures last year. You just push them down. We can actually get one of those out for comparison's sake. We have the Triceratops um, from Dominion. These figures are the same price point, so they're going to be pretty much the exact same size, um, same amount of plastic, same height. I mean, Diabloceratops is a little higher because its crest is higher. Um, you know, last year you literally just pressed down on them. Couldn't be easier to do. I really like this action feature. I know some people weren't fans of it, but I was a big fan of it. I thought it was like the easiest thing to do in the world. So, um, and then Diabloceratops, of course, has this switch. It's not that hard to do on this figure because he's got four legs you can kind of press down on, but the Eocarcheria, I found it really difficult to do. Um, one thing I want to note is the plastic on this guy. He's got that rubber plastic head. It's not hard plastic like you're used to, so it's really malleable and can it can bend, which is nice. I think they do that on purpose so that these get don't uh they hold up better, I guess. Um it reminds me a lot of the Pinterestceratops because it also it's a bigger figure, but it had a really soft head, so kind of similar there. They both have soft heads. Pinterestceratops is a bigger price point, so it's a bigger kind of uh, dinosaur, if you will. Um, but the Diabloceratops looks great next to it. They both have really impressive frills um, and of course, really distinct paint applications too. Um, the Sutoceratops is another one sort of in this price range um, that, uh, I mean, the Sutoceratops is a big figure when it came out and it's still pretty big. It's definitely a little bit bigger than Diabloceratops here, even for comparison's sake. It's a little bit longer, the head's a little more substantial, but, um, uh, you know, they're, they're the same price, so they're similarly sized. I'm not going to get every Mattel Ceratopsy now because there's just way too many. That'll be a video for another day, I guess. But you can see here just how nicely uh, the brand new Diablo Ceratops kind of fits in with the spectrum of mid-sized Ceratopsy. Of course, there are smaller figures like, um, you know, Zuni Ceratops, like I mentioned. Cosmoceratops, a couple other small ones, but this is the newest newest version to join the family, the Diabloceratops, appropriately painted red like a devil. Um, you know, and I guess I can do a quick comparison next to human here. So pretty pretty substantially large dinosaur um, realized in toy form, um, you know, especially the head. The head is huge, way taller than this guy. So he can't even, can he, he can't even touch the horn. So um, it's it's a it's got a big head <laughs> that's for sure a big head at Ceratopsian but yeah it's a, it's uh, my first herbivore for uh, for Dino Trackers um, I also have Cynotarianus and Eocarcharia so have a lot of um, I have I have three figures already I mean, like I said they're hitting fast um, coming from Mattel these are coming from Amazon these are all from Amazon so finally hitting new toys and so far i'm actually pretty impressed got a nice range got a nice paint budget on these with painted tails and all that stuff um so pretty cool and of course all uh, uh, new species too no repaints or anything which is always fun to unbox as well so uh rapidly adding some new species to my collection which i'm happy about but but yeah all from amazon uh you can grab everything there's a link in my caption if you want to know where to buy all these new figures because there's even more coming 
Um, of course, this is Di Diablo, one of the Diablo Ceratops, right? Diablo Ceratops, what am I talking about here? Um, but you can check out the reviews for Eocarcheria and Sino Tyrannus too, if you'd like. And I'll be doing a few more in the next couple of weeks as more of these figures come. So I hope you enjoyed this one of Diablo Ceratops because it is a very cool figure. But um, but yeah, I think that's all I got to say about it. Again, I'm Tim with Collector Asic. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.